Hi, in this video, I want to show you how to use Swell AI to help you and your audience rediscover your webinars. Look, I think webinar content is among some of the most hidden gems for creators and small business owners. I've talked about this more than once, and I've showcased some of the tools to help you basically break up your webinar content, promote it better. But in today's video, I want to show you the specific tool, Swell, how to build a chatbot with no effort and just embed it on your website. Moreover, how you can find very useful clips that are under or maybe over a minute, how you can search for specific clips using a keyword, for example, or how to stylize it using your brand colors. But why is this important? Because webinars take significant effort to create and to run. Oftentimes we find ourselves just want to be done with the webinar, so we want to touch it or look at it again. And then they're sitting in archives, whether in a Dropbox folder or in Zoom cloud recordings. But did you know that webinar clips are proven to increase signups and even generate leads for your business? You can also close more sales once your audience is able to find specifically what they're looking for. But at the end of the day, I want to remind you that if this is something that you have not done before, you don't have to become a believer right away because it does take time and effort, trials and errors. So when you share clips, for example, eight or 10 from your webinars, you may find it surprising that some of the clips you didn't think were as engaging or as valuable are picked up by some of your audience and vice versa. And that's the point of creating these clips is not to make them perfect, but to kind of throw out these M&Ms and engage with your audience a different way and with different content. Let's take a look at what Swell can and cannot do for you to evaluate, for you to ask questions in the comments below. I would love to hear and learn from you. So I just uploaded this webinar that I hosted for Women Leaders Association with the very incredible guest, Mark Cuban. So when you create a new project this time, instead of choosing the usual podcast episode, Dropbox and all that, I want you to click on Zoom Cloud Recording and take a look. Now you're authorizing a swell to leverage and connect to your Zoom account. I'm gonna just click on authorize. The easiest thing to do is make sure that you go to zoom.us and that you're already logged in as yourself. I am someone who moderates for a number of companies. So sometimes I do have different accounts open. In case you're not seeing the right one, just click on switch account over here and you're able to log in with the correct one. So with that said, let's go back. All right, take a look, configure your Zoom cloud recording. So I'm gonna click on available uploads. What's nice about this is that not only you can see the list of published content, you can also choose which recording you wanna use. So in this case, for me, there's gallery view, there's a shared screen with speaker view and active speaker view, for example. So by the way, in order to upload a file, you can do that through different ways. As you can see here, you can use a Riverside recording or a YouTube video or you can upload your channel, even upload the file, you know, like a video file. So all I did was click on YouTube video and I navigated to my webinar, Feiwu and Mark Cuban, and there it is. This did not take a long time, even though the video itself is an hour long, I would say it was probably anywhere between five to 10 minutes and very manageable. So let me go ahead and click on view content to show you what you got here. So on the left-hand side, if you're already familiar with Swell AI, allow me to show you real quick. So we got the transcript and we have the speaker, get that done. So this is me. As you can see here, everything's now updated. This I believe is a Mark Cuban. So, all right, you can see that's edited today and it's saved. So on the left-hand side here, we got clips. Perhaps one of the things that you should really pay attention to these days is the power of video content. And by the way, this is not new. So I'm gonna show you and navigate to different clips you're looking at here. And remember that after a webinar has been concluded, you can absolutely generate these clips. You can edit these clips and even schedule them directly to social media. Now, some of these clips, because they're AI generated, they're not perfect and you can choose to click on edit clip right here. You can choose whether you want to use the entire video or audiogram. If you're not familiar with audiogram, it's basically a video with jumpy words. Let me go, just go ahead and show you an example. Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to the second all right, you get the idea. Remember, there's so many different social media platforms and the most popular and pretty much universal aspect ratios are landscape, portrait, and square. So Swell AI has that covered for you too. 
Now the background image, you can choose just the color. I mean, in this case, this is an audiogram, but you can also upload an image, right? So for example, you don't want to show that video of um, yourself or your guest, whatever it may be. If you choose to use audiogram, you can upload an image of your choice. So let me go ahead and just show you what that means. You know, in this case, let me download a image of Mark Cuban. Make sure you use Creative Commons Zero. So an image you actually have access to. So in to my download folder, and then I'm going to go back to Swell AI and here, just like that. You can also choose to have your captions. You can move it around if you want to. You can choose the captions to be top, bottom, or even in the center. You can choose different fonts and styles and sizes, the font color, the stroke color, the background color, like so. You can do it all uppercase. You can also add these waveform visualization. You guys probably have seen these as well. Again, I would not underestimate the power of audiograms versus videos. If you're not sure, you can always test both, by the way. And to the right of this configuration, the config, it is your transcript readily available. So you don't have to guess what is being said. It's a really good visual guidance on the left hand side. By the way, if you want to re-edit these uh, video audio clips, uh, you can basically drag and drop the border. You can also click on basically zoom out or zooming in to make the clip either longer or shorter. You can also choose to auto crop. It is the case uh, in my video. Uh, you can do that. But remember that the clip itself has to be under five minutes and why I have to switch to either portrait or square. So let me go ahead and just do portrait. Then I'm going to turn on auto crop. All right, there we go. This is my little square post. And as you can see here, hi everyone. Uh, um, and from here, what I like about it is that you can schedule it to your social media channel right away if you choose to, if you decide to use Swell AI for scheduling purposes. Also, because there are so many clips generated for this one hour webinar, I noticed that as I'm clicking back and forth uh, within this clip uh, section, and sometimes it's a little bit slower and you just have to be a little patient. So let me know what you guys think of this feature, how you're going to take advantage of it. You also have chat. Please summarize this webinar. Variety of topics on leadership, entrepreneurship, diversity, inclusion. The main speaker was Mark Cuban, who shared insights, blah, blah, blah. Mark emphasized this, initiatives, advice, and takeaways. So that's pretty helpful, right? Now, look at this chat in bed. And this is pretty crazy. Again, this is my favorite feature, especially when it comes to a webinar, because all I have to do is drop this iframe code. I can even style it if I want, make it all my brand color. But the point is that I can have a chat with um, this chat bot, basically drop it on my website and say, ask anything about this episode. So for example, what is this about? Kind of similar to the question I was asking. Uh, it's, it's a lot because it's a really long webinar. And I'm going to say, what's one key takeaway? Being curious, agile, always willing to learn. All right, great. So you get the idea. Having that on your website can be really powerful. Again, I think it's giving viewers and visitors and new points of interest and like discovering this episode on their own, which is really cool. Now there's additional documents you can choose to use. So you got the titles. There's also something called perfect socials. I see a lot of webinar organizers, whether it's, you know, the host co-host or the moderator or even the speakers, they don't really do a ton to promote the webinars. And I feel like less is even done after the webinar is concluded. So after all that work is done, after the content has been put in the bag, I feel like there's just so much we should consider doing together, but we don't have time. So look at this Twitter threads, Twitter posts and LinkedIn posts, again, review everything and publish. I'm also going to remind you the fact that there is now a calendar feature. You can click on share and show people where it is, but you can also export it to destination. Now, next is timestamps, especially when there's a long webinar, you go, Mark Cuban discovered something or discussed something that's really interesting. And I want to learn just about that. And uh, you have to basically listen to the entire webinar. Here, you can th use this as a show notes or almost like a cheat sheet to get to exactly what you're looking for. I also want to quickly just show you the ultimate show notes, different summaries and timestamps alongside with detailed synopsis. I have a different um, video right before this. I'm going to include a link above to show you that you can easily do this and even put together blog posts. You can generate YouTube 
titles and keywords and descriptions as well. So really Swell AI is this multi-purpose tool. You can use it many different ways. Next is summary. You can see there is a summary right here. For example, if you see any names being misspelled, all you have to do is click on this edit button and say Fei Wu from Phase World Media. Like when you're done, you just can just click away. Last but not least is the article, a good summary of what's being discussed and even writing the entire blog post or the article for you. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching till the end. Please let me know if you find any bits helpful, anything else you would like me to explore, not just for webinars, but anything for you as a creator, as a small business owner, what else you like to learn about creator tech or creator AI, help you reach a wider audience, help you make more of what you have created. If you like this video and you happen to also, let's say, produce YouTube videos and maybe podcasts, I would encourage you to watch the other two videos I created as part of this Swell AI series. I want to meet you over there.